gesture. Oh, how mad you are at me. <laughs> so Damon forgot to read out. a sentence I on the guide. A, I forgot a key step here. We have to go back to the fucking skeleton clown and oh. get more dead worms. Get some, get some dildos from the guy. How can you miss a sentence like that? Are you fucking serious? No, 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 because... Or did we fuck up? We fucked up. We fucked up. It's after this that we did it wrong, or I did it wrong mostly, because I'm your, I'm your stalwart guide here. Okay, another dead worm. So, when he's in there fiddling with the machine, uh, you have to fuck with the deadbolt on the door before talking to him, because then when he goes to close it, it won't latch. Oh. And then we can just get in. That's not what balloons are for. My kid. <laughs> Got any more dead worms? Okay, that's dead worm number two. I see. That's really, like, hard to gauge what that's you're supposed to do. Imagine that's trying to do this game without a guide having never seen it before in your life. I would be here for hours. Like, I didn't even know I could go back there and get more dead worms. Uh, you missed it. It's the one across the hall from the... Oh, right. Tube room. This place. This place. Alright, dead worms, right. round number two. They're in there somewhere. They look like big like, cucumbers. Uh, I wonder, can I make a bigger mess with these? Probably not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Alright, now go shooting down the tubes again. <laughs> this game's hard, okay? I can tell. Hit start for a second. Uh, the that thing. Oh. Probably save. We should probably also save. You can save and salt one. Ooh, I think I remembered. Uh, let me see the controller for a sec, actually. I might have remembered a thing. Oh, look at it. Oh. Look at that's how it used to look. Oh, it's. It's that click the right stick. Oh, okay. Wow, what a difference. Whoa. That's how, yeah, that that's, wasn't even there. That's a stark difference. <laughs> cool, wow. Right? <laughs> Okay, time to shove, right, shove, shove this purple cucumber down. Shove stuff down holes. That's how we do time, it. Time to make that elemental guy angry again. Hardest working demon. Hardest working demon. Ugh, what a noise. <laughs> oh, the balloon pop with the... The, the, the s squeak pop. This is probably the last episode for today also, since you need to... Yeah. ...go travel. Just jam it in there. Oh, <laughs> the, the wiggle. I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I really like how uncomfortably close he gets in that. Server's down again. What else is new? It's not, hey. it's not down. Office you just can't get at it yet. So now, yeah, now you mess with the edge of the door. And now we talk to him and he'll leave. Strange. And the door won't yeah. close. Hey, I get Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. I think we can just leave now and he'll most likely follow him. Oh, I see. 
Good enough for government work. Good enough for government work. <laughs> Both its ass. Oh. Check it out, we did it. Don't ask how he just teleported through you though. Don't worry about it. I won't worry about it. And now you can just go in. Oh, so we don't even need the playing card? The card's for inside. Oh, it's I see. Sophisticated and delicate hub. It's held in place by the weight of the door. It's held in place. It's held in Oh, look at the hand on that wheel. <laughs> He's got some mild psychic powers. It's fine. Uh, now there's something to use that on here. He'll figure it out. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada, aha. Can chicken pox actually kill you? Yes. Oh. Dying children. I never had it. Oh, that's, that's bad. Good. That's really, really good. Because you can, if you've never had it, you can get it as an adult. And that's worse. That's worse. You can also, if you're extremely, extremely unlucky, you can get it a second time. Cool. Was a company Can't wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like if you ever have kids and they get chicken pox, you better stay the hell away if they have it. Because oh, yeah. adult chicken pox won't scar you. So now our car's sweet. Oh, look at Dom. He's like, no. Oh. He's like, no, my client. Oh, wow. Hey, that's a. Uh... Oh, God, that's a reminiscent of. What is it? It's like. Not rat no. think. I know what you're talking about to too. Ro it's no, like no, rotten and something. Your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, <laughs> where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to nowhere. What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? <laughs> sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. <laughs> mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Stop, stop. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, man. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> work with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I think now you have to go bug uh, Dom in his office. Where we had uh, Tony and um, uh, Maria Canals uh, in working together, and uh, they're both uh, from Cuba, and they both uh, had worked together before um, they were cast in, in uh, Grimm. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of fun to get the two of them together again and, and uh, play off of each other, which is, of course, the way you'd like to do any game. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Wow, look at how gross this hallway looks in old tiny. Ugh. 
the lighting is not even there. He's just always illuminated. That's so weird. Uh, I think it's yeah, there he is. Hey, funny bones in my office now. You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you can take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. How does a skull have a Send moustache? Send Colomar, please. Don't ask. There's a side quest that I ran into in Legion before you came in today. Yep. Where there's a Murloc with a big honking curly mustache. That's brilliant. He's supposed to be a dad Murloc. Now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there. On her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny. The petrified forest is the lost wood segment I mentioned. That, looking for a fact that's what I was desire. expecting. We are 100 percent just consulting the book to get out of here. Because <laughs> that one's us. Most people never see past it. I see. It ain't gonna be me. Well, I want to at least try it before we give up. If we do, our then position might not be relative to where we start in this. To oh, be able to decipher I it. see. It doesn't open. I didn't realize how weird it was that he gets locked into a room by his boss, which I don't think is legal. But oh, you again, know, back in the 30s, you could do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> came out like soft you know... Rubber hoses for cops and so on. You know, I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, a, just it was just uh, fifty years after the old west. Mm -hmm. Well, that's weird. That's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> the robber frost will haunt you. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Well, no, but I am angry. I see. Well, keep up the faith. There was something Doesn't else open. in that dialogue you were supposed to do. Doesn't open. So you have to wiggle the door again Doesn't to get open. him out. You were close. Oh. Hey, guard! As my little count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Cramped, ready for walkies. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. My loyalty is still to the DOD, believe it or not. Mm, good boy. You just keep up that spirit, and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. No. Nope. Uh. Doesn't open. It was the final step the first time that you chose the wrong hey, thing. Guard. Oh. Has my little count of Monte Cristo? No, I'm a f maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. Get me out of here. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I do not care if you're sorry. I want to know if you are loyal. Which one is it? Uh, DOD runs a crooked game. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. I've heard you make threats in anger before. My question is, would you really want to hurt the DOD? 
And then this is the one where you... Do you want me to tell you what it is, or do you want me to guess again? Is it that one? Yeah. I'm gonna blow the lid off That's what I wanted to do in the first place, but I was like, well... You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Ah. Me to the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But She's been with the revolution the whole time. Wow. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, my man, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. It won't budge. It opens for... Oh, the secretary has a dual identity. It's always lots yeah. of fun. Always lots of fun with dual identities. Yeah. I like that Eva gets to have a little, like, um... She's got more going on than you thought she did. I love that, too, and I like that there's something fishy in the Department of Death, too. That's a, that's a good twist. You see? <laughs> Eva? You oh, the song that plays here is the, the uh, you can't the song that my PS4 theme plays the DOD computer on network uh, if we're ever gonna find the dashboard. What's going on. Oh. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How do you do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. Bam, chick, bam, what are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit Who into is? this sinister the puzzle? Man. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. You just gotta talk to Sal. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes, my last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their do tickets you smell on the number nine? A conspiracy? I think I do. It's tinfoil hat time. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. 
and so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld, and for that, you need, you need cold money. hard shackles. You want me to be a messenger? No, my friend. The moolah, the numbers are small the and our agents dollars. are too valuable to risk that sort of work. He's the cashola, only one messenger to be the sweet, sweet dosh. Carry your peaches. <laughs> oh god, I'm running out of names for money. Um. Oh crap, yeah. I think we exhausted the good ones. The balloons. Oh, yeah. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Hey, guess who we have it to talk to much. next? It opens for members of the LSA only. Is it her? No. It's your favorite. Oh, no. Are you down with the clown? I guess I have to be down with the clown. Hey, look, the door's open to the garage. Yeah, now you have that shortcut open. Cool. So yeah, we need a... Uh, so I guess I have to be down with the clown. You have to, yeah. Ooh, there's another balloon animal we need here. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? You need... No, cat. Ah. Okay. okay. Can I just get another no Robert problem. Frost? Uh, you can get a dingo if you want. That doesn't do anything either. Ta -da. Now I need to go up to the roof, I bet. Uh, not quite. Oh. Uh, go back to the clown for a sec. There's something near him we need to pick up also. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Bread of, bread of the dead. Need the bread. Uh, yeah, now we find I don't know. I don't know it. why it's just so funny to me that he just pulls a baguette out of his suit. He pulls a lot the of bread of the dead. Yeah, but that's like the most that that's the largest item so it's, far. Yeah, next to the scythe. Yeah, next. Well, the scythe is collapsible. But even collapse, it's pretty big. You have to walk around the ledge first. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Hmm. Mess with the window. Oh. <laughs> Thought I did. You dang fool. Now there's two items in here to find. That was not it. <laughs> this booze was not it, no. I guess I'll have a little more. <laughs> Take the edge off. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. That is one of them. Oh. <laughs> He's got a lock on it. I can't believe I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope. Beep. It's not Golden Boy. <laughs> nope, keep hitting it. Oh, I see something's moving. It's his mouth guard. Yeah, Domino had this in his mouth. So those are the two items we needed. All right, now you can leave the office. Now it's bird time. Uh, yes, now it's bird time. Wait a second. Oh, they're the skeleton birds. Okay. Yeah, it's spooky birds. I get so now we use over. the uh, not quite with the, the bread yet. That thing. 
magically use it with the rope. Yeah. Oh, I see. That seems kind of like an important I MacGuffin. Wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Look at you all, Batman, over here. I wonder if he were to fall, would his skeleton just explode and he'd just have to, like... It would just get powdered. Piece himself back together. Maybe. Okay, so you have to do things in a certain order up here, or else you have to go get more bread. Oh, jeez. So, so okay. let me read this section here. Okay, so... I used to work at a uh, doctor's Let's office, see. and mm. one of the jobs... Uh, just terrible jobs there. And one of them was the... So the walk towards the pigeons. The camera should change in a second here. Okay, so you see that bowl thing right there? Yes. Put the cat balloon in that first. And um, and they're like, look, we got to get that stuff off the roof. It's really, it's going to break the roof. There's so much pigeon crap on the roof. And I okay. had now... a flat shovel and he cut, it was kind of like cutting Now put in the bread. Yeah, yeah. I was just chopping up the bird poop and just scooping it up and blowing it off the roof. And, um, but in, in chopping it up, I occasionally find like, like in sedimentary rock, like an archeologist or a right. paleontologist, I would find the bones of the dead pigeon just inside. How's he, is he just using his hands? Guano. Just like like a grater. Wow. Yeah. So I had my. Uh, let's see. So this this really. Now the pigeons really should. Yeah, yeah but I'm really there's not enough poop on the roof to make this really. Well, it's hard to indicate that with um, the uh, technology of the time. <laughs> kind of just like if it's like if you did wind in, in you know in a in a eight bit game, it just sounded like. <laughs> It just sounded bad, you know. Oh, because they ate the bread, then they popped the balloon. Ledge pickers. Yeah. Now you should be able to get the egg out of the vent thing. Yeah. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. I think I should get out of here with these eggs before those vent vultures come back. Yeah, I would have had no idea the proper order. I mean, I guess there's only so many options, so I guess eventually you would have figured it out. The ties, when Manny uh, later uses the ties to cross over to the roof, uh, he wanted to be more like a little, you know, a little bit more, less adventure game and more sort of skill game where you had to kind of, you know, line up the ties and, and throw the I think you can just interact with the, the rope and, again. Uh, I'll be honest with you. And he'll, like, untie it. That was definitely it. not something I was, I was prepared for. Uh, we should save here, actually. Because we don't go straight back to the the LSA yet. I see. All right, we All should right. resume Can you imagine actually later. Yourself up, a little chain of ties that are as long oh, as... Oh, Tim Schafer. <laughs> well, that's what's great about... And then I like <laughs> Is the this view like, down. He's so calm about it, too. He's like, chip, chip, chip. Uh, many stories. I mean, part of it is, I guess, they, he, he probably won't die. He's, he's already falls. dead. He's already I was going to say, he's already dead. So it's really just... And I was thinking, does he have the muscles to do that? Or I was like, no, he doesn't have any muscles. He's no. just a living skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> How is he living? He's just a skeleton. He's a soul. He's a soul. Animating, yes. It's too much science for me. All right. Next time, folks. <laughs> Next time on Grim Fandango.